It is 5.42 a.m. 373 miles of range, it says, about 15 miles per gallon of diesel. Here in my Ford F-250, I'm here with Richard. See, we can turn the light on here so we can see Richard. There's Richard. Well, we just cleared Columbia, South Carolina. We're all the way up to 16.6 .6 miles per gallon of diesel here. The range is 250, so it looks like maybe 400-ish uh, per tank. 25 gallons, I think. And the uh, road looks pretty good here on Interstate 26. So Richard and I are headed down to Florida to pick up the Performance Model 3 that Race Pikes Peak this year. Our driver, Blake Fuller, drove the car and beat the production electric car record by 42 seconds, which he said in 2016 in his Tesla Model S. We have just transitioned on Interstate 95, headed south here from Interstate 26. Nava computer says 496 miles left. It's about seven and a half hours. Interstate here about five miles. Southwest now on Highway 301. We just went through the famous Waldo place where the silver bullet hangs out. You better do the speed limit. With just under 140 miles to go, we're here on Interstate 75 southbound. Got a little ways to go. Nice afternoon, at least it's not raining. Seven miles from the turnoff here off Interstate 75 now, just kind of southeast of Tampa. In half a mile, take exit 210 for Florida 780, Fruitful Road towards Sarasota, St. Armand's. We are hooked up. Our trailer is hooked up here to the truck. And now we're headed to pick up the car. Okay, we have arrived here in Sarasota, Florida. We've got a few things to do and then we'll get the car loaded up onto the trailer and headed back up north. So I'm here to pick up the Model 3 Performance at Blake Fuller's house here in Sarasota, Florida. I live in North Carolina and I drove down with Richard, my autocross buddy, and we brought the diesel truck down. We rented a U-Haul car carrier, and we're ready to haul the Performance Model 3 that won Pikes Peak back to North Carolina. We'll be running it in autocross and other car events up in North Carolina for a while. So the fact that Blake won world record again up on Pikes Peak is amazing. In 2016, he took a Tesla Model S up to Pikes Peak. He raced it, won the production electric car world record, and this year in the Model 3, he bested that time by 42 seconds. The 42 seconds was amazing. We took the car, very little modification since in a production class you cannot modify that car. We changed the brake fluid to a higher temperature. We changed the brake pads to a better quality pad. So we lightened up the car by removing a pile of weight. We put in a roll cage for safety. So the tires were supplied by Toyo, who makes awesome tires. They sponsored us this year and they supplied the rubber for us in the form of R888R tires. They were 10 and 10 and a half inch wide, as wide as we could go to fit into the wheel well. 
because in our class we couldn't do anything to modify suspension or cooling or anything. So we were able to put a set of Martian wheels onto the car. Now, a little thing about Martian wheels. They're made by Martian wheels to be specifically for the Model 3 or the other Teslas, and it has a built-in offset. So it offsets the tire out from the center of the car slightly, giving you the ability to have a little wider tire and be able to turn properly by having that offset built into the wheel. The wheels are forged, very good quality. So Martian supplied the wheels, Toyo supplied the rubber, so CRS supplied the disc brake pads, and that's essentially what we did to the car. No other modifications were allowed, nor could we make any modifications to stay in the production electric car class. So we raced up on the mountaintop relative to the other competitors with essentially a car that you could go to the Tesla store, you buy it online, you pick it up, you modify a few things, put a roll cage in it, and of course you have to have the experienced driver, take it up Pikes Peak and probably do an awesome job against all the other competitors. So we're here today to pick up that car and we are gonna do more promotion and show it and show it to some of the people that supported us and everything else. So that about sums it up. We're gonna load this thing up and get out of here tonight and head up to North Carolina in the morning. Model 3 is loaded on the car carrier and uh, we're gonna be heading back to North Carolina. Fits fine. I just had to put it on backwards because of the air dam. Well, the Model 3 on the trailer got here to Newport Ritchie, Florida, where we spent the night. And it rode just fine. We had to put it on backwards because the front air dam would hook over the back of the trailer itself. It's okay. The car is balanced, so it really doesn't matter. The back wheels are against the stop, so we're good. Safety chains around the car, plus the two tie downs in the back. So I think we're good. Got uh, about 10 hours or so today on the road. Well, we're finally on the road here. It's Friday morning, 22 gallons of diesel fuel here in the truck and got the Model 3 in tow. We're gonna head up Interstate 75 today. Should be quite the adventure. Talking about a little range anxiety here in the Ford diesel. Well, we have 29 miles of range and 12 miles to go. Boy, this is getting scary. Here in Macon, Georgia, and stopped for some diesel. Got down to 17 miles of range and throw some of this dino juice in this thing. Looks like the Model 3 is riding fine. It is uh, doing its thing. So this is interesting, 25 gallon tank. Uh, we put in 23.445, that leaves us 1.6 gallons in the tank. Yeah, 17 miles of range, about right. We are northbound on Highway 106 from Athens. We kind of took a diagonal from Macon, Georgia northeast right across missing all of the traffic and mess in Atlanta. It's kind of been a hill and dale thing up and down and around but Google has uh, navigated quite well. It sent us on roads that were semi back roads but very little traffic so I can't complain in the least. We got about eight miles to go make that 6.8 miles and then we get on uh, 85, the big uh, interstate heading northeast to uh, North Carolina. So, so far, so good. The uh, car is still attached, which is a miracle, but it's okay. Getting close to the house now. 
Uh, it's 142 miles of range, that's fine. The house is uh, 19 miles from here. Been a long day. We've been on the road uh, probably better part of 12 hours, I think, coming up from Florida. So the car is here now. We're getting it off the trailer. Of course, it's starting to rain, so glad it's home. The Model 3 is back home. That one Pikes Peak. We're gonna prep it and get it out on the show circuit. Great day, no trouble. Dragged it all the way from Florida. And if you'd like to buy yourself a Tesla, the referral link here shown at the bottom of the screen will get you a thousand miles of free supercharging. It is a very good deal. So thank you very much for watching. I'll look for you again and take care.